Hello, everybody. Welcome to the very first Rose League of official stream. Today, we have Thunderstorm Gaming going up against Making Plays. Pardon the, uh... Pardon the text issues for Making Plays team. We are sorting that out at the moment. And we are good to go, boss. These two teams are a part of the Masters Division. On the purple side is Making Plays, and gold is Thunderstorm Gaming. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Coming out on the defense from Thunderstorm seems to be a double sniper Ryan Zarya defense with Ana and Zen on support. And making plays is holding off and revealing the comp for the time being. I can't imagine they'll be running this during the game. Five seconds and the very first official stream starts. Three, two, one. Here we go, everybody. Making plays, setting up with a Symmetra and Bash. And I can imagine they're going to be setting up with the card as Blue takes high ground. Symmetra teleports Bob and Breadsticks onto the high ground. Mopey takes up the teleporter, but I don't think it's going to be enough to to slow them down any. Making plays begins pushing the cards. Blue takes the high ground on the left side. Thunderstorm Gaming falling back to the corner as Making Plays pushes the card forward. Still no moves coming out from either team yet as they slowly aggress. Making Plays setting up on the high ground. Osra has D-Max Blue on the side of Making Plays. Bob, Bill, and Bastion setting up on the high ground, focusing down uh, the Widowmaker of Thunderstorm Gaming. Terex finding a pick on the Skywave, making it a 6v5. Mopey taking down Blue. Perp kills herself as Bob and Breadsticks back off. A very handily won fight from Thunderstorm Gaming. Off tick and Ostras with the Segas onto Bob and Alex Bond. A very good fight when coming out on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. A huge pick onto Breadstick, staggering them even further. Agency and Mopey on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming with Nano and Dragon Strike respectively, whereas on the side of Making Plays, the only available ultimate is Nano Boost and an approaching uh, Metro Barrier. Metro trying to spam the high ground but making no progress. Hammond dies the high ground as the uh, Hanzo of Thunderstorm Gaming is left. Blue manages to pick off Mofi, making it a 6v5 on the side of making plays. Thunderstorm Gaming playing back, starting to aggress now. The Hammond of making plays dives the Widow as does the Diva, but she manages to escape with an excellent bubble from the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Bob does manage to follow up on it though and kill Terex on the Widow. Meanwhile, Alakaban takes on Reinhardt. Making plays continues to aggress, pushing up. Thunderstorm all the way back to the bridge as they go for a full reset. Sorry on the right side fighting the Hammond, being forced back onto the high ground. Transcendence coming out from off tick just to contest the cart. The snipers of Thunderstorm trying to get picks. Cleanliness comes to contest. Off tick, Ostras, and Cleanliness all fall, and first point goes to making plays. Agency getting staggered as four of their team will be sent to the back spawn. Mophie, however, picks off Bob, trying to even it out just a little bit. I wave and Hammond on the high ground as Cleanliness and Ostrez push towards the cart. Finally starting to contest, Bob takes down Reinhardt with ease. Metro's still on the high ground and the Thunderstorm Gaming falls back to the corner. Doom onto the Widow, pops the Meteor Strike, Hammond with... Ult comes out of Hammond, Doomfist takes down two with Meteor Strike, Hammond ult finishes off Zarya. And that's a one fight on the side of Making Plays. However, Making Plays does end up picking the Bastion. Or not Bastion, Hammond, my bad. As Making Plays takes second point with 4 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Thunderstorm Gaming has to make a little bit more of an effort if they're going to want to pull off any sort of defense. 
Tele uh, teleporter goes up to the high ground on the bridge. Ospez takes care of it. A comp swap coming out of Thunderstorm Gaming to uh, Winston Diva and McCree. Cleanliness takes out Bob, and that's a pick on the side of Thunderstorm. However, Blue Ants do the self destruct onto Optic. Tarek finds Breadsticks 4v5 on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. With a good contest, Blue DMX Diva Winston on the Symmetra, but gets picked. Thunderstorm Gaming starting to fall back as making plays, starts to recuperate. Bob finding the pick on the onto the McCree, making it uh, making it favored towards uh, making plays. Hammond contesting the backline. He's been a ha wreaking havoc on Thunderstorm support. As it's the Doom as he goes in to try and kill the Zenyatta, but to no avail. Austin just tries to pick onto Symmetra as it's cleaning this onto Bob. Mofi takes out Alakabon and Osra is onto Perp. This is a one fight on the slide of Thunderstorm as, as making plays is forced to fall back. Thunderstorm trying to clean up, but only manages to demech the debuff. The Symmetra on the side of making plays is swapped over to a May. Other than that, the concept is the same. However, on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming, all six ultimates are available. Whereas only Transcendence and uh, Hammond Mines are available on the side of Thunder Gaming. Place. Hammond with the dive onto the supports gets slept and he pops the bombs, but to no avail. Forces, but forces out the Transcendence of Optic. Terex dropped the glow, but not, not quite killed. The dive onto the make gets her killed as Clean Linen pops Primal Rage. However, Bob in the background finds Tarek and pops Meteor Strike. Clean Linen and Multi finishing up the Diva. Meteor Strike onto Ana takes her down as Genji kills the support line of making places. They're forced to retreat. The Hammond's staying to contest a little longer, but he's going to be forced back out in just a second. And there he goes. Ultimate's looking much more favorable to the side of making plays, however. Thunderstorm Gaming is ready to answer with their own ultimates. The Transcendence on the side of making plays should favor them in this fight though. Making plays going through the right side, Bob getting stunned and picked by Terry. Hammond diving the back line as Ostrez launches the Diva Bomb. Transcendence coming out of Alec Bond as Blue picks off Ostrez. Perp takes down cleanliness, it's a 6v4 on the side of making the place. Dragon Blade coming out of Mofi as he takes down Skywave, Optic taking down Blue. Mofi continues to recap it with Dragon Blade taking down Perk. Terex and Mofi take down Alakon and Breadsticks respectively, making it a one fight for Thunderstorm Gaming. They aggress forward, trying to take off a little bit of space from the side of making plays. Making plays, making a several swaps off either Zen to Moira and Ana to Lucio. Opting to keep the May and Doomfist as the DPS. Luce, they start to aggress as Thunderstorm Gaming falls back. Skywave and Bob take down friendliness for Optic DMX with High Noon coming out from Terex takes down Bob. Skywave used the Blizzard but got nobody. Perp makes take down Terex but it's not enough for this fight. Thunderstorm Gaming putting up an excellent defense on point C. Alakabon trying to back out, gets low, but uh, manages to make it out supportive. With the support of Herb and, uh, and her fade. This is going to be the last push as Making Place only has the Hammond Bomb, whereas Thunderstorm Gaming has Transcendence and Dragon Blade. Hamadult comes out, splitting up, making plays. Optic pop, pop transcendence to counter it. Bob onto agency, takes him down, but Terex answers by taking out blue. Diva Bomb coming out on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming, Blade also coming out as well. Terex finds Bob, and that's it. An excellent hold on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. A rough start, however, it came back. And to answer some of the chat's questions, the team colors are gold for Thunderstorm, aqua for uh, for making plays. Uh, these are just the uh, colorblind settings through Overwatch, so can't do colors like white or black or anything like that. However, it would be nice to be able to do so.
on defense, it looks as if making plays is going to be running a bunker strat with Bob on Widowmaker. They're going to be using both sides looking to be using the Mercy at the moment. Well, making plays swapping to a Bastion instead of Widowmaker. Skywaves taken to the Symmetra. They seem to be making plays seems to uh, making plays seems to be able to. Uh, favor the off-meta DPS picks, whereas Thunderstorm Gaming seems to be taking the more traditional compositions. If Thunderstorm Gaming will have to be swapped off the farmers, see though, if, if they decide to run it into a Bastion with an Elixir Shield. Making place sets up on the right side high ground, with several turrets right by the cart. Making plays is sticking with their comp, running the Farah and the Widow as the DPS duo. Bob finding clean linens is a quick early pick in the fight. Agency opting to forego the res, and the rest of the team backs up. A very quick and clean fight win on the side of making plays. Thunderstorm Gaming starting to rethink their strategy a bit as they realize there's not much they can do with their current comp to uh, take down the Bastion. And there come the swaps. Agency over to Moira. Mopey to the for Optic to Lucio. They seem to, they're going right side to go for a flank on to making plays, but realize they're just underneath them and can't do as much. Now the dive, now the aggression comes in. Mopey finding Redstick also taking down Skyway's teleporter. But making plays makes a clean retreat to the high ground back there. Terex finds Perf though, making it 6 feet 4. Queen Lin is aggressive on Bob. Bob's falling back. Blue finding Terex, making it 5 feet 4. Our res comes out into Perf as Ostrez finds Bob. Mopey takes down Blue, and this is a one fight on the side of uh, on the side of Thunder Thunderstorm Gaming. Optic resting back on the card. Agency finding Perf is a huge stagger on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Infrasight coming up from Thunderstorm Gaming, showing them where they are. Meanwhile, Bob pops a uh, tank form. Not finding much with it. As he is forced to fall back. Grav coming out of Grav coming out of Thunderstorm Gaming is a aggress on to uh, making plays. Mopey takes on Skyway, that's the first pick on the first pick of the fight. Risky Red's coming out from Alec Bond, but it pays off in the end. Bob takes on Terex, Mopey takes on Red Stick. It's a very even fight. Could go either way. Bob finds Mopey though, that's both DPS down to the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Earthshot coming out from Thunderstorm as uh, Diva Bomb finds Optic. Clean Linden takes down Bob, but the fight's going both ways. Oster is on to Alex on perfect to Zarya. And Symmetra finds Thunderstorm's Reinhardt as making plays puts up a nice hold at the choke towards the checkpoint of point A. The Bastion strat coming out of Queen Plays seems to be going against everything Thunderstorm has been planning for. Terex going for a pick, but not finding anything. Terex taking on the o standing out in the open. Very lucky he didn't get picked there, as, Bo as Bob's high damage output very easily could have taken him on. Cleanliness goes for a big charge, but gets killed. Mopey with a huge death loss, taking out both the Mercy and Bastion. Austin following up to kill the Fred Six. Terex in the Skywave. They nano Diva, but it may be for Nada, as, as she's the only one left. Coalescence surprisingly popped from a thunderstorm. May have been a waste of an ult. As they capture as they capture point A. No comp swaps coming out from either side as of yet. The alt economy of Thunderstorm looking very good at the moment, having plates. Perp caught out in the open and killed Skywave staggered as well, both being sent to the back spawn. The alt economy at the moment seems to be fair favoring Thunderstorm Gaming, however, making plays isn't that far behind. Thunderstorm Gaming sets up at the corner, trying to stop any aggression at the choke that uh, making plays could try and do. Terex going for a huge pick, but isn't able to do it. 
slice came out of Terex as the wall from Skywave comes out. Bob pops the uh, tank formation as making play starts to aggress onto uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. Thunderstorm Gaming taking your or retreating as Bob takes out Tarek, making it 65. Cleanliness blocks the Diva Bomb coming out of uh, making plays. Cleanliness with a nice charge onto Breadstick as he calls Agency takes on Alec upon it. Uh, potentially Wasted Shatter coming out of Cleanliness, but he manages to find the pick. Perfect takes on Agency, but it's not quite enough to get the one fight. Making plays forced to retreat. Thunderstorm Gaming looking for as many picks as they can possibly get. Bob left out in the open here with not a lot for support. Hammer down coming from Breadsticks, takes down Optic and uh, Zarya, but doesn't get any kills out of it. Cleanliness even answers with the pin onto Breadsticks. Graviton Search coming out of Osrez takes down the mech of Blue. However, Bob has been wreaking havoc on the tank line of, uh, of Thunderstorm Gaming. Very even fight could go either way at the moment. However, Blue and Bob with picks on Optic and Mophi are able to send. Thunderstorm Gaming back to the spawn. Red sticks on Hammond has been slept, but uh, isn't going to make much of a difference for the time being. Terex off the Widow and onto Tracer at the moment. Mor Mophi has a Graviton huge boop from the side from a uh, Red sticks onto the Reinhardt. Also, pardon me from earlier. Reaper does not have Graviton. He has Blossom. Thunderstorm seeming to be attacked from the left side with uh, Terex harassing a uh, Skywave. However, there is a ultimate pop from both Bob and uh, Skywave, but Thunderstorm is just waiting it out, as, uh, making place sets up inside of the room. Perk falls down in a vulnerable position, but Thunderstorm not capitalizing on it. Alakabon as the bathroom as he takes down Terex, between the Z-Max loot. Austin finishes it off, but Bob kills friendliness. So red on the blue from Alakabon, mostly finds Bob with uh, Death Blossom, but Alakabon takes down Agency. Blue takes down Ostrez and Alakabon on Optic. Alakabon with a 3k on Mercy. Ten seconds this is the last fight for Thunderstorm, they're gonna have to desperately try and contest with no ultimates. However, uh, Making Place doesn't have any ultimates as well. Contest on the cart from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming, but they can't seem to get a body on the point. Tarek going in for a desperate contest, but there's nothing they can do now. And that is it. Th making plays, tape, taking map one over Thunderstorm Gaming. Play of the game. The The game seems to be very evenly matched. However, making plays seems to be edging out fights just barely. It's pick for pick every fight. But towards the end, when it comes down to a 3v3, making plays seems to be the team that comes up more clutch. They're also they also enjoy running a off-meta DPS duo, which could be a reason why. Uh, Thunderstorm Gaming seems so baffled a lot of the time. Not many teams prepare to play against the Symmetra or Bastion, but when you're playing against making plays, it seems as if you have now to. Traveling to Busan. We are now on to Busan. As it seems my spectator colors have gone awry. I will. I will have to uh, fix that uh, for next game. Please pardon any stream errors. This is our first go of it, and we're uh, we're making do with what we have. To quote as uh, Suki Kodai, uh, "Making plays is making plays." Now on the side of making plays, they see they appear to be running a. Pseudo dive, whereas uh, Thunderstorm is running a full dive with Ana and Lucio on supports. However, uh, I would not be shocked if making plays were to make changes during the uh, changes to their comp before the map starts.
So yeah, once again, please pardon the odd colors, but those will be fixed. That was, I Five, four, didn't uh, pay attention to the lobby. One, round one. My bad. Capture As the round starts now, Thunderstorm Gaming is um, running their uh, same comp as they had in spawn. Meanwhile, making plays swapping to a Doomfist in May. However, still keeping the Brigida on a heal. The fight going on by the drum on the right side is, uh... The Thunderstone Gaming executes, tries to execute a dive onto, uh, mid place. But, uh... Nothing seems to be happening. No kills as if yet, both teams are, uh... Very well... Very well healed. Ostra is taking down Blue's mech and Hammond. Persephone falls off tick. And this is a one fight on the side of, uh side of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming as they take the point. Okay, so just to confirm, for all those viewing, the yellow players are Thunderstorm Gaming, but the purple scoreboard is uh, Thunderstorm, whereas purple players and yellow scoreboard are making plays. Please pardon that uh, error, we'll have that fixed shortly. Making plays executing the dive onto the tanks of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. Kerb finds tearing but Ostrich answers with the kind of bomb. Ostrich is demaking blue. It's claiming that it's frozen but not quite killed yet. He manages to get away as Soundbarrier comes up from Ostrich. His movie on blue and Skywave canceling the blizzard coming out from making plays. Mopi slept but uh, they aren't able to answer with a kill. Mopi takes down Persephone as a huge dagger. Perk on Mopi as well though so so 5v5 at the moment as uh, making plays looks to regroup. Mophi with his Dragon Blade ready as well. As well as that, Ostrez and Clean Linens have their ults as well. Meteor Strike coming out from Bob. All the ults on the side of making plays uh, have been activated. However, making plays finds the two picks onto Mophi and Agency. Giving them a huge advantage, Ostrez with self struck taking out Bob, but it doesn't seem to be enough to uh, swing this fight in the favor of Thunderstorm Gaming. Skywave takes out Terrix, and that's just another goal inside of that. Uh, inside of making plays. They find yet another kill as, uh, as Thunderstorm continues to try and uh, contest this Mophi. Trying to take down the Mei, but to no avail. Bob takes down Optic Skyway from the A. He does take the most. He takes down Cool Linen. Ah. And, uh. That is. Making plays, recapturing the point. Mei taking the high ground on top of the drum. I've never seen this one before. I'm quite interested to see how this goes. Ultimate's not much on either side, however. Uh, Pulse Bomb on the side of Thunderstorm and Blizzard on the side of uh, Making Plays are available. Thunderstorm going down main as uh, Rally comes out from the side of Making Plays. Making Plays on the left as uh, Thunderstorm on the right and uh, Making Plays pushes uh, Thunderstorm gaming back. Pulse Bomb coming out from uh, Terex finds nobody. Ostrich takes down Breadstick. Breadstick answers with a pick on the screen when he's using his ultimate. A, lo all, a lot of ultimates ready on the side of uh, side of making plays. They take down all of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. The Genji is forced to retreat. As he uh, sent back to uh, sent back to his spawn after that lost fight. The alt economy hugely favoring uh, making plays at the moment. Hammond goes in for the sight lines and uh, and shows his team where the Thunderstorm Gaming is coming from. Blue with a pick on a Mophie as uh, Terex forces out the uh, Ice Block from Skywave. Terex looking for a pick on Ana as Bob and the all of making plays find massive picks onto the support line and, and tanks of Thunderstorm Gaming. Time is ticking down for Thunderstorm Gaming to try and put up a recontest. The alt economy is much in their favor as of right now, and Terry seems to be set up behind, going for either a sneaky recontest or a sneaky pick. Possibly both. 
self destruct coming out from blue finds Mofi, but uh. Thunderstorm Gaming has managed to set themselves up with an attack with the defender's positioning. However, Bob takes down Terex, and uh, that's two down on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Hostra is brought down low, and uh, self destruct comes out from blue. Or, pardon, Hostra. Blue finds clean linens, his object is the red stick. Mofi sends out a dragon blade, finding Stephanie, but Bob takes down uh, both supports of Thunderstorm Gaming. No one seems to be dying at the moment as Terex finds her, but Bob takes down Terex. Ostras DMAC Mofi throws it in kill, not it for this round. Making plays takes the lead to a 1 0 over Thunderstorm Gaming. Yes, Pyro Rage from the chat brings up an interesting point about keeping the Genji versus May, Brick, and Tomb Fist. Oh, all three. Very good at countering a Genji. And it appears as if Thunderstorm Gaming hasn't learned from their mistakes as they are showing the uh, showing signs of running the Genji once more. The comp coming out from making plays looks to be identical to how it was, Five, as does four, uh, three, Oh two, and uh, one, Thunderstorm one, Gaming swaps over to a triple support line. Opting to get rid of the Genji. A smart call on the other half. The, the fight begins on the high ground as Fred Six goes in for quick damage. Terex dropped low, but uh, not not taken down. It seems to be both teams playing for picks at the moment, but making plays pushing towards uh, Huntsville Gaming. Well, both teams getting massive ult charge for the healers. Skywave almost at Blizzard already. Thunderstorm Gaming aggressing on a making place Bob answers the pick on Finland. As uh, Thunderstorm Gaming backs off, a huge anti coming out from making plays sends a hammond into the back line to uh, try to pick, get some picks, but to no avail. However, making plays does capture the point, and they're gonna start building up, uh, building up capture percentage. Bob on a tank almost kills him with an excellent healing from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming, saves him. Blue D Max. But uh, not before finding Optic, as Bob takes down something that definitely takes down Terry. And that's it. It's, it's officially one on the side of uh, side of making plays. A meteor strike coming out from Bob, which may have been a little bit of overalting on their side. But outside of that, five ultimates ready for uh, making plays. And uh, Thunderstorm Gaming having five as well, but the ultimates on the side of. Uh, side of making plays are much more uh, impactful than uh, the ones made available to Thunderstorm. Fight begins on point as uh, Fredstick drops his ultimate, mostly finds Bob as the early pick. Terex with the 3k and Ostrad's with Paul while the Diva Bomb. The On is left up on the high ground, forced to retreat, but the tanks dive for and are going to be able to pick Ross in just a moment. And that was an excellent retake on the side of the that a thunderstorm gaming. Even managing to bait out the blizzard and nano boost and hammond ult from making plays. However, the ultimate economy still does favor making plays right now. But as we saw from the last part, that doesn't always dictate who will win. Rally coming out on the side of making plays as they aggress towards the point Skyway and the rest of the team right behind and set up on point Red Stick to night. Pile driver. Bomb comes in from blue but finds nobody. Ostras dro uh, drop low and D mech. Bob on the Doomfist wreaking havoc on Ostras. Mofi gets a nano boost from Agency and uh, finds the pick on the Persephone. Media strike coming out with Bob. Drops McCree low but doesn't quite kill him. Skywave takes down Mofi as Bob takes down McCree. Skywave on the Kremlin. An excellent sleep from Agency onto the Doomfist, but uh, it won't be enough to save him this fight as he. Uh, Forced to jump off the map and die. A full reset coming out on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming is uh, making plays and hoping to make this the last fight of the map. Ultimate from Hammond blocking off the right side. They must they have to go through either left or, or main to contest. Bob drops low by two linens and suffers with a Hammond as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming has to contest the point. Mofi finds the Stephanie. There's a way to start a fight on the side of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. However, Bob and pick on a Mofi. Both teams down with the Gita. Blue D-Max Bob has two and her blessing support down on the side. 
of uh, making plays. Bomb coming out on the side of making plays, but finds nobody as the uh, Bob is dropped low and killed by Queen Linen. Sound barrier coming out from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming as uh, they finish up the uh, making plays players. They're drawing this out as long as they can, but it's all it's going to do for them at this point is stagger them. And so, uh, Thunderstorm Gaming recaptures the point. Uh, rally coming up from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming as they are uh, setting up for this next fight. Ultimate economy is about even for both sides. Both teams having the rally, but uh, uh, let's say Thunderstorm Gaming here has the uh, advantage of being closer to much more ult. Rally coming out from the side of making plays as well. Both teams will have full armor going into this fight. Making plays is dressing for the point as Queen Linen starts to roll around trying to. Uh, See what he can do. Both of high guard still by uh still by the uh, tanks of making plays. Osrez knocked off the map, I think, as Breadstick takes on Tarek. Mofi dropped down low and uh the fight seems to be favoring making plays, but maybe it's for Thunderstorm Gaming as they're trying desperately to hold on. Perfect pick on a Mofi blew on the Kremlinus. Thunderstorm Gaming is going to have to put up a very clean retake if they want anything. But that's a great way to start it off. Also, a huge 2k diva bomb, but the anti from uh, Harp seems to be slowing down their efforts. Red Sticks and Stephanie getting uh, optic and Ostra respectively. But the recompense of Thunderstorm Gaming is desperate, but they find Skywave with the Hammond ultimate. Tarek takes down Pert, won't be on Persephone, Thunderstorm Gaming seems to be pulling this off as they find Bob as well, Brett Stick being the only one remaining from Thunderstorm from, from uh, making plays to contest this, he's forced to back off. Thunderstorm Gaming reclaiming this objective, making it the last fight of the round, winner take all. Both sides very close to Rally, and but Tarek's on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming has his ultimate, but Bob has his as well. Redstick goes for a dive onto the onto the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Bob onto Agency, but uh, fades away. Bob finds Optic and pops the Meteor Strike. Lands a direct onto Cleanliness, dropping him down low. Take down Tarek, take down Tarek, blue onto Ostras, and everything seems to be falling apart for Thunderstorm Gaming. They almost put it, they almost took it back, but uh, making plays coming in clutch in the end, taking this map. 2 to 0 over Thunderstorm Gaming. Making plays leading 2 to 0 in the series. Okay. I am going to be trying to fix the stream settings, but for the time being, if anybody has any insights into the game they'd be willing to uh, they want to offer now is a great time to engage in a dialogue making plays seems all fights like I said have been very close however making plays is just pulling them out bit by bit and it really adds up now against uh, it really adds up against uh, making plays or against Thunderstorm Gaming, and uh, I don't, I, I can't foresee Thunderstorm Gaming taking this unless they can really change up their playstyle to match making plays abilities to clutch out games. Uh, for the first round of Temple of Anubis, our next map, we'll be seeing. Uh, we will be seeing the defenders, uh, Thunderstorm Gaming, trying to ward off the attacks from making plays. Make um, Thunderstorm Gaming setting up a two dive tanks and a Sombra. First time seeing her this game. I'm curious to see if this is the ant. This is what they need to uh, really counter what's been coming out from. Uh, from making plays. Mofi onto the McCree, opting to opting for the six shooter over Widowmaker's sniper rifle. A surprising pick of agency on Mercy. Maybe questionable regarding their 
uh, regarding peel for optic, she both could, both supports could be very easily died, but not much self-sustain. The comp coming out from making plays seems to be another somber bastion comp. Surprisingly, there's no way Thunderstorm Gaming is prepared for this. Making plays sets up on top of the high ground. Uh, pulling out an excellent pull from Breadstick, but it doesn't uh, find anyone. Alakon brought down low by uh, Sombra, I'm assuming. As uh, Thunderstorm Gaming setting up on the left side, not allowing Thunder, al not allowing making plays to actually do much with their call. Handling it very well. Tarek looking for a hack on the back line of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. Blue steps on the point, trying to bait out. Thunderstorm Gaming, the dive onto the bash comes out from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. As Queen Linen chases him down, trying to find the pick. However, uh, making play finds a tick on point. Also, it takes down Bob, a number advantage on the side of, uh, side of Thunderstorm Gaming, but making play is answered with the pick onto Queen Linen, Zosrez, and Tarek. Only the supports in Mopi on the clear left to contest. Optic drop, forced to drop down to contest. Agency drop down as well, but, uh, it's all for naught as the agency will be taken down in just a moment as the, the point goes in the, in the favor of uh, making plays. A very quick first take coming up with making plays as, uh, as Thunderstorm Gaming is forced to reset ultimates on the side of, of uh, making plays. They have, they're very close to all, all of them, whereas uh, Thunderstorm Gaming doesn't have much. This could be a very big snowball coming up from uh, making plays. They set up on the high ground right side as a uh, Zenyatta throwing Discord or on targets. Bob is a pick up the cleanliness in this EMP coming out from uh, Terex. However, Bob takes Smokey and it's still a huge numbers advantage on the side of uh, side of making plays. Bob with the third kill, Square picked on Optic, Optic, Purple, and I touch on the Osiris, and they are taking this point. Setting up. Oh, cleanliness comes in for a recontest, but it's not enough. They set a blazing fast time of 5 minutes and 50 seconds. Thunderstorm Gaming are gonna have to come out strong if they have if they want even a hope of taking this from Thunder uh, from making plays. Thunderstorm Gaming hasn't been able to find an answer to any of the off meta comps that uh, making plays has been running and that brings up the question, is off meta the meta? With so many diverse composition or so many compositions being viable right now, in many cases dive, goats, death ball. It's a lot to prepare for for teams. But if so that takes up all of a team's time. But if a team is forced to prepare for or is forced to prepare for an infinite number of comps like making plays seems to be able to run. The options for uh, preparing for teams like this are slim to none. I see making plays in the future, even if they aren't mechan more mechanically skilled than the other teams, being a force to be reckoned with purely for their ability to make compositions that surprise the enemy and work. Making plays, sticking with the Symmetra Bash, that seems to be their favorite composition. Whereas Thunderstorm Gaming going with a standard, of almost standard dive, running the Sombra with it. I can imagine the Sombra trying to hack the Bastion to try and take down that pressure from the tank. You don't really have much to stop the Bastion from uh, wreaking havoc onto them. Especially as... Yeah, as... As said before, Cleanliness finds... or Bo Cleanliness taken down by Bob, uh, he's hacked, but still the damage coming into the tanks of Thunderstorm Gaming is too much for the supports to handle. With potentially even the highest healing per second duo supporting them. The Bastion slept and presumably will be picked from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming as he dropped low and eventually killed off by Optic. Breadstick's going in to try and save him, but uh, is picked off as well. Perfize Cleanliness, but it seems to be in the favor of Thunderstorm Gaming as they aggress up to the point. Skywave brought down low by Mofi, but Alec Bob there with the heal. 
Skywave brought down low. Terra supports the back, but Wolfie finds, finally finds Skywave as a Alakabam as a or Alex Bond for his testing the point. Blue D Max and uh, the supports of making plays are forced to back off, but trying to go for a quick regroup. However, Terex kills Perp and uh, making plays is gonna have to back off completely. Because Thunderstorm Gaming takes point A of Temple of Anubis, trying to keep pace with uh, making plays time. However, if they truly want to keep pace with making plays time, they're gonna have to take it in this fight. However, both teams having a very robust set of ultimates to use. Uh, however, Thunderstorm Gaming has a slight advantage. Mopi takes on Baba, Perp takes on Terra. DPS down for each side for their. In the end, it's gonna end up favoring making plays to Res Bob. On the Doomfist. Breadstick slept and brought down low, but not quite killed. As uh, both teams kinda standing at a stalemate at the moment, just looking for any any hope of a pick. Blue launching a self destruct, finds nobody. Breadstick dies onto the honest, bringing her low, but peel from. Uh, Triple Thunderstorm comes in, an EMP blade combo coming off the side of Thunderstorm Gaming, finds the perfect Alex Bond. Blue d -Mech, Bob taken down by Osiris, Skyward taken down by Terex. And it's all, it's falling apart from making plays here as they, uh... As they're taken down, a uh, Make plays, if they have any hope of winning this, have to go for a swift recontest as, uh... They're already at two ticks from the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Thunderstorm Gaming brought to the very end and they half it. Five minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock. Two CP, as it's known for, is, uh... We'll be going into overtime. Extra rounds. Thunderstorm Gaming may be figuring out how to play against the uh, off meta compositions that are uh, making plays is running. I wonder if this is the point where making plays tries to surprise with a regular comp, even. However, at the moment, it appears if they're sticking with their off-meta strategies. Whereas, Thunderstorm Gaming seems to be sticking with the comp they've, they've uh, been relying on for most of this match. And is finally starting to come together on, uh, on Temple of Anubis. No massive changes coming out from the side of uh, Thunderstorm. Or making plays. That's running a very similar comp to what was run last round. However, I don't believe they had Brigida last round, so it might be going for a much. Yeah, they had Ana instead last round, so they're like opting for much less healing this round, which is interesting considering how uh, how little healing will be given out considering how much uh, time, how much of Mercy's time Bob requires. Thunderstorm Gaming setting up Terex behind the Bastion, looking to hack and uh, they begin to start the push. Osiris dives Bob with the defense matrix he's hacked and brought down by Clint. Clean Linux, Clean Linux takes down Breadstick as well. Very clean dash coming off the side of Thunderstorm Gaming. Alakaban rests with Bob, may have been a mistake on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming, but it seems to not be uh, not be affecting them as uh, Bob goes down once more. Perp taking down Mopi and Osiris' mech. However, uh, Thunderstorm Gaming still having a huge number of advantages. Blue is finally finished off. Redstick returns as uh, Agency Reds with Mopi. Clean Linens with a dive onto the Mercy as she's still not on low and finished off Terex with the final blow. Off to face on Skywave and it's it's going very much in the favor of Thunderstorm Gaming. As uh, they will be taking point A of Temple of Anubis for the second time. No, Bob off to the Doomfist. Once again on point B of uh, Temple of Anubis. But the ultimate economy is hugely in favor of Thunderstorm Gaming. They're, unless they manage to mess this up severely, they're going to steamroll through this point and take it. Making it 4-2 on the scoreboard. Mophie getting na uh, nano boosted as the EMP nano blade combo comes out. Taking down Alakabon and Skywave and Bob. A massive blade coming out from Mophie. d blue as well. Osiris finishes him off, but uh... It's all but lost for uh, making plays. Brett sticks to the high ground, ready for a quick attest, but Mopi Mo Mo finds him bringing him down low. Hacked by, uh, hacked by Terex. Bob finds Object, and that may be the pick they need, but Ostra has to pick on Alex Bob. And uh, Thunderstorm Gaming is taking 
<laughs> taking out all their anger on uh, making plays at the moment. A nice public mail from uh, Queen Linen. Herb takes down Optic once again after being rezzed by Agency. And, uh, the rally is sustaining them enough to keep uh, keep making plays in the fight. Alex Vaughn taking down Moti, Herb on the Agency, and that's going to be a successful hold on the side of making plays. The late D-Mac on the Osrez and take on the Queen Linen to stagger them hugely for the next fight. Just draining down their time as you'd love to do in a, in a situation like this. Terex caught out of position but uh, not ticked off by making plays. Speaking of last round, the alt economy was in huge in favor of a Thunderstorm Gaming but uh... Making plays made an excellent retake, uh, excellent retake of the point and uh, it's looking like the alt economy is in their favor. Bob with an excellent pick on the Mopi as uh, Hammond Bomb comes out from Breadsticks. Bob takes down Optic as well as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming is going to be forced to retreat back to spawn. They're looking for extra picks as Skywave takes down Agency, a very important stagger for the next fight. The Maywall coming in, keeping. Uh, Ostrides from returning to spawn. Terex behind the, uh, the lines of making plays. They turn around to take down Terex. Terex with a very uh, lucky translocator gets out. Thunderstorm Gaming starts to aggress, making plays fall back cleanly into, uh, into their spawn. Bob takes down Optic. Yet another pick on the side of uh, making plays. The media strike is open. Bob as well lands on the roof, getting nobody. You may have. Bit a little bit uh, over eager there. But uh, making plays continues to push Thunderstorm Gaming back with an excellent May while forcing most of Thunderstorm Gaming to stay back and to get picked off as Ostrace did. And uh, making plays, putting up an excellent hold in what should have been a very much one sided affair. However, this fight will likely be the make or break for this round as uh, both teams have nearly all of their ultimates. Diva Bomb coming out from blue looking for a pick, fine Queen Lennon surprisingly, and uh... Terex is lagged out of the game and uh, there should be a pause in a moment as Agency is taken down by Bob. Very um... interesting what's going on right now. I'm not sure how Thunderstorm Gaming is going to make this up. They're, they've lost the EMP, which was very necessary for them to win this fight with the way the Ultracon is looking for both teams. But uh, as, as it currently stands, the Ult economy is even on both sides, having uh, used the lose self-destruct, but this is a devastating blow to Thunderstorm Gaming. Losing the EMP is gonna... it will likely cost them this round. Optic and Mophi are gonna have to make a huge combo with the Nanoblade to try and, uh... try and get anything done this round. Well, since we have this time, and, um... for who knows how long this may be, Anybody in the chat have any insights they'd like to offer into the game? Any anything on how the teams have been playing or how how the stream quality has been? Any critiques of my casting? Anything you guys have to say? We are. Uh, I'm more than open to hearing. Clean Linens has confirmed that uh, Terex DC'd and didn't rage quit. However. That would be very, uh, very poor sportsmanship if that were the case. Luckily for Thunderstorm, though, it is not. Oh, if you got a career profile, it moves, this mutes the sound. Oh, it does. Oh, okay, we're back. Captain Planets, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the tip. Uh, Su Suki Kodai. I appreciate the feedback. This is a very impromptu thing for uh, for Rose League. The uh, it was only yesterday that I sent in my application for 
uh, media personality with uh, Rose League. But since I have the time, after seeing some of this stream, kind of getting the gist of what it would be like, all of you who are interested in checking out being a part of the Rose League media team, I urge you to go ahead and send in an application for yourself. We're always looking for more personalities to help run this run this startup league. Obviously, as you can tell by myself, you don't have to be particularly great to, uh, to do it. So if you're worried about yourself not being very good, just join, jump right on in with us. We'll we'll be happy to take you aboard. A hey, well, Kelly, you are correct. We should have two people doing this, but at the moment, our as I said, our casting team is very uh, very small. It isn't just me, but um, for the future, if anybody. Anybody wants to join, we are always looking for more personalities. If you can't stream, you're more than welcome to try being a caster. If you don't want to talk, and you just want to do some recording, help out a little with the uh, Rose League, you're always welcome to, uh, always welcome to, uh, try for, uh, producer and be the behind-the-scenes cameraman that everyone needs. Suki Kodai, if, if you have issues with stuttering, I see no better place for you to try and uh, try and become better and improve as as a uh, as both a player and uh, and a member of the Rose League community. Virus, a very funny joke coming out of you. Terex has returned, and the game will be going up again. AWOL Killer, to answer your question, could you apply if you're also a player? Yes. I'm a player on, the, on uh, Athens Pegasus, and despite that, here I am streaming this for you guys. Matt has been very gracious with his with uh, scheduling for me, and uh, as such, I can see him doing the same for everyone else. Now, back to the game. Red Sticks pops his hammer out Mopey uh, using the Nano Blade combo. Uh, kind of the taken down by Red Sticks Bob. Mopey takes down Bob as a Skyway to kill by Mopey himself. Oster has taken down Red Sticks, cleansing this res by agency. Found himself getting putting a huge push. Trying to make this, uh, trying to turn this around after their unfortunate events with the. Uh, with Tarek being forced to leave. Blizzard coming up from Skywave. Me? Put an end to this push as Bob takes down two of the combo meteor strikes. Foster has DMX as well, and Thunderstorm Gaming is forced to back out. 20 seconds remain for Thunderstorm Gaming. They're gonna have to put up a very insane fight if they wanna pull this, uh. If they wanna pull off this win. Agency and Optic fall down on that. It's gonna be very unfortunate for Thunderstorm Gaming as they now have no support for when they recontest. However, a back cap coming in from uh, Cleanliness forces Thunderstorm, or uh, forces cleaning, uh, making plays to come back. But Cleanliness falls in the support line of Mofi gets another dragon lead, but is quickly taken out by Alex Mon and a punch from Bob. Ostra has z back as well. Bob taken down the support optic from. Uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. Terry pops the rally, but it's not going to be enough to keep him in this agency going for a contestant before point. Terry's nearly booped off by uh, Bob, but not quite, but it's eventually finished off. Agency going for a very ridiculous contest, keeping Thunderstorm Gaming focused a lot, but uh, Alec Bond finishes him off and uh, ends this round 3-2. to two. With 5 minutes and 50 seconds on their side. Making plays will have to try and take both points and almost their entirety to win this win this round. It'll be interesting to see if they run the attack bastion comp as uh, the surprise of it from the first round will 
assuredly not be there. I can expect the same comp that a Thunderstorm ran on attack if he ran on defenses. It seemed to counter the Bastion strat, which I'm almost sure they're preparing for uh, very well. An AWOL killer, just to uh, add to your comment, if you don't want to speak, you don't have to. You can always be a cameraman and, uh, hey, if you are my cameraman, I'd much appreciate it. Gives me more time to focus on casting, or someone wants to be my caster, and I'd be their cameraman. That's A-OK -okay as well, as it gives me more time, once again, to focus on my camera work. Now, the I was correct in the call that uh, Thunderstorm Game would be running with similar attack comp on defense, and... Uh, making plays optic to stick with the off-meta Symmetra Bastion call. However, I think they've switched it up and swapped to a Zenyatta instead of instead of Ana. Bob finding a quick pick on a Terex. It's gonna be unresable for agency as uh, as uh, making plays sets up on the high ground. Bob is left by optic in a very crucial sleep, but woken up maybe a little sleep by Murphy. The dive on a Bob begins, but uh. The defense magic along the shield from uh, making plays keeps him alive. They drop down to point, take the first tick as the uh, thunderstorm continues to lose members. The DMAC onto Monster as Queen Linen falling to blue. It doesn't see Moby falling to Bob as well. Ostra is not going to be able to do much to contest this by himself, despite the healing coming in. Terex tries to make onto Bob and Red Stick, but Bob is rezzed by Alex Bob. Ostra is taken down by Skywave, and uh, it's going to be a very difficult contest. Of Thunderstorm Gaming. Thunderstorm Gaming may be caught up here, as, or caught out in the open here, as they did dive a little far out. And as I said, Optic has been pipped, giving it a 6v5 for the time being. I expect quick aggression to come from the side of making plays. The Bash is setting up the high ground with Symmetra Teleporter as they prepare to attack. Most people to pick up a Sky Wave, even though this fight also taking down Alexabon, and uh, I don't see making plays using anything to in this. It's just gonna back out. Try and uh, try and continue this. However, perfect if Blue Prime picks on uh, Agency. Blue on the Mopi as well. Maybe, maybe turning this fight around. But uh, as, a as a baby diva, won't be able to continue that for very, very long. Pardon my uh, hiccuping. The alt economy on both sides is looking tremendous. So, uh, It'll be interesting to see. I don't foresee either team. I don't foresee making plays winning this fight. However, if they can avoid using their ults and get a lot out of uh, out of Thunderstorm Gaming, this could be a very handy one next fight. Setting up on the high ground again, same as last time with Bastion. Purple is optic. A huge opening pick. EMP coming out with Eric. However, agency resonates optic and. Uh, Thunderstorm Gaming back to full strength. Blue managed to pick Terex out in the open as uh, Skywave takes on Optic. Ostra dances with the pick on a perp and uh, Kindness on a red stick. Even by Bob pops the tank formation, picks off Agency. Alishabon rescues Red Stick. And the ultimate comes out from Red Stick. So a last ditch effort of the blade comes out from Mopi as Ostra and Mopi are both taken down. Terex killed as uh, making plays wins the round and the game. Score as of right now, three to zero. Let's stick around as we will have one more map for you guys as Thunderstorm Gaming tries to keep up, tries to take one map to keep themselves alive in the, uh, in hopes of uh, better securing a playoff berth when uh, when that comes at the end of the season. Now on the side of making plays. I'm going to be very interested to see how how they're going to run this next map. It hasn't... They keep surprising me with more and more off-meta compositions. And, uh... Every time they do, Thunderstorm Gaming seems to be reacting very slowly. Taking the first round is a very hard hit loss when, realistically, had they uh, been playing a uh, 
had they been playing a comp to counter uh, making plays from the beginning, it may have been a much more even affair. The last map will be starting momentarily as it will be Numbani. Both teams are re are just about ready and the map is loading up. Traveling to Numbani. Optic tempting me with a torb pick. If I could see either team pull out the Torbjorn, I'd be a very happy lad. It's a Torbjorn. I'm just saying. There's a bit of a, I have a bit of a soft spot for him. The Swedish Papa, as I call him. Now on the side of, I believe defending first will be Thunderstorm Gaming once again. Uh, in just a moment, we will see. Yes, Thunderstorm Gaming on uh, defense. It appears as if, once again, the colors have glitched. I made an attempt to fix it, but to no avail, I guess. So, to those who may be confused, purple on the scoreboard and yellow on the players will be Thunderstorm Gaming. Yellow on the scoreboard and purple on the players will be making plates. Um, I'll remind you guys throughout the map just to try and avoid confusion. However, I completely understand if you guys get confused, I will probably be doing so as well. The defense coming up from uh, Thunderstorm Gaming is a Weird mix of dive and stationary players. I can imagine them getting split off very, very easily. Prezi used to dive onto the high ground. Huge, uh, huge ground slam. Mopi trying to contest the Doomfist. Ostra is d blue, but is d herself. Perp kills Ostra as the and kills blue. Mopi taking down Alakapon. It's not just on gaming the edge of the fight, but as I see that, Bob takes down Mopi and the. Uh, Letters on Gaming seems to be backing off. Gaming is trying to contest some of the points, but after being animated, it is an easy kill for Thunder Storm Gaming. Or for uh, making plays. Breadstick trying to kill Optic is, is slept, which will help keep him alive, but it doesn't change the fact that making plays is taking the point. Making plays, setting up very far forward to try and keep. Thunderstorm Gaming from contesting anytime soon. The Nano Boost coming up on onto Blue means Thunderstorm Gaming wants to take the fight here and now. Breadstick uh, places his Hammond Bombs the Choke, and Thunderstorm Gaming can't do anything about how they're how they're trapped and spawned. Perp even DMX Osrez and Thunderstorm Gaming. What can they do right now? EMP coming out from Terry, but there's nobody there to follow up until now as, as, uh, as they try to contest her, but uh, Redstick takes down Agency, but that is taken down himself, but Austria is cut off from the shield, that's Clean Linens and Morphe, and they're gonna fall very easily to decide to make plays, right? They're playing very split off, as the cost would suggest. I mean, very mobile half the team, very immobile other half. They have swapped to a more mobile half now, or uh, a more mobile comp now, but uh, still the, uh, the composition doesn't seem to be very much doing anything to stop what making plays is throwing out. They may be able to do something on the farmer's seat, but Herp's Ana has been tremendous throughout this match and may be able to, may be able to contain that DPS or to maintain that deadly duo. Tarek's going to flank behind making plays, maybe going for a hack onto Zarya. Hacks the Ana and uh, brings it down low. Uh, self destruct coming up from Ostra has finds nobody but knocks him off cart. Uh, Mopi finds the Brigida of making plays. Tarek takes down Alex Vaughn as well. And uh, 
making plays forced to retreat here as they try to try to pull out and maybe get a pick on the way on the way back. Thunderstorm Gaming with a very nice retake. Well, we have a moment. The ultimates of making plays seem to be outweighing those of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming as they try to retreat into another hand coming out from uh, Red Stick. Bomb and Blue as well finds nobody. Because then it's coming out from Optic as a uh, multi takes down for free with a massive barrage. Both sides using almost all their ults, but uh, Thunderstorm Gaming taking this fight. This is gonna send making plays back to spawn with a very poor ult economy, having only Valkyrie on their side. There's very little that making plays is gonna be able to do in the, in the foreseeable future with what they have right now. Or pardon, it's only Thunderstorm Gaming that has the Valkyrie, whereas Making Plays has uh, Graviton and Nano Boost, but still that's not very much. And I doubt it's gonna be enough to win this point outright. Tam is going to get us turrets on the high ground, but uh doesn't really do much as Blue dies up there to to try a little as well. Hammond is nano boosted by uh by Perp. Another uh, barrage coming out from Mofi as he uh, is taken down by Alex Mobile, not before he can DMX blue. Perp finds clean, clean linens with his with Antinate as uh, making plays aggressive forward. The Graphon coming out from uh, Bob finds nobody. Optic pops his uh, transcendence as offense is DMX and kills. Maybe a poor positioning from Optic. He does find his offense though as, uh, as Tarek sends out a EMP. Thunderstorm Gaming, putting up a good fight, trying to keep this point alive. Uh, ultimate coming out from Breadsticks is blocked by Clean Linen Shield. However, Osrez does get the mechanism. Yeah. Making place does get two kills the, with the Hammond Bombs and is taking is taking this fight as the uh, HFC pops out for trying to keep Osrez alive, but uh, she falls and Terex is killed as well as uh, Making Place closes out uh, round one of of Hollywood, or not Hollywood, Dimbani, bronze casting, lol. Now back onto the topic of you guys joining the team of Ro of the Rose League. Anybody willing? Anybody wanting to join can find the application in the Constitution of the Rose League down at the very bottom of the document. You'll find the application. You're always welcome to send in a tryout, and uh, you can play as whichever you want, be it a uh, be it a caster, producer, or both. And. Uh, that's it for my little tangent on uh, joining the media team as we are going to be getting into this round. Making plays on the defense, Attackers bringing out the Bastion, as that seems to be the signature pick coming out from Bob. Breadstick sticking with the Hammond, finding immense value out of him, despite him not being immensely popular in the ranked ladder. Uh, Persephone taking an Orissa, surprisingly. Running a triple tank comp with Mercy and heal. A lot of damage, and a lot of tank, and not that much heal. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Thunderstorm can answer this with their own Bastion, actually. We can get enough damage in to melt the uh, tank liner. Uh, uh, making plays. Thunderstorm Gaming going up to the high ground of uh, Nimbani, dropping down to the low ground is a. Uh, as a Jabait Blue to try and recontest. Setting up on the point is uh, Thunderstorm Gaming, but not before Mopi picks, gets picked by Bob. Perp taking down Optic as well, this is going to be a very much one-sided affair as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming gets fended off by, uh, by making plays very, very easily. The stag onto the D.Va comes in, however, could have been, could have been executed a little better. Thunderstorm Gaming, swapping off the Bastion over to a Genji, and Optic onto the Zenyatta. 
between Lennon's and Terex after Winston and Sen and uh, Tracer. Uh, almost a full comp search on the side of uh, Thunderstorm Gaming. <coughs> Pardon me. Mofi contesting high ground with breadsticks, but uh, no one doing much to either either opponent. Diving onto the Bastion is uh, also to clean Linen, so they try and take him down. Clean Linen does try and bob, not before bobbing D-Mac Ostras. Perhaps he can Terex as well. Mofi under perception, he breadsticks into Ostras, blue in the coming is Alex Mon uh, resurrecting Bob as a... Uh, Making clay seems to be edging this fight out piece by piece. Optic does take down breadsticks though, and that may turn the fight around, but not not if perp take uh, perp takes down optic as well. The alt economy for both sides, Thunderstorm Gaming not having any at the moment, but very close to an animal combo, whereas uh, making plays has five alts and the only alt they're missing is uh Bongo from uh Larissa. Mofi once again contesting the high ground with breadsticks, but uh, not very much being done as as it happened before. Claim is an officer is executing the same dive onto the Bob, but it's answered by Blue with a uh, self destruct. Why do you know what it is? Mofi takes down Bob. Uh, Alex Bond comes down before Bob can be res, and the Transcendence comes out from uh, making plays as the uh, Thunderstorm Gaming continues the aggression. Blue D mech and uh, eventually killed. Breadstick does find agency, but it's just Breadstick must contest the point. Pardon me, Blue is there as well, but uh, Breadstick and Blue both taken down as uh, both supports are down for Thunderstorm King, which may open up a weak contest for uh, making plays, but it doesn't seem as if they're going to go for it or are able to go for it. Terex looks for the pick on a Bob, but uh, it seems to be backing off now. Thunderstorm Gaming taking point A in about 3 minutes time while maintaining a very good alt economy and alt advantage over the uh, over the side of making plays. Breadsticks going behind and it'll be interesting to see if Thunderstorm Gaming forgets about it but not if Optic's watching. As uh, Breadsticks is forced to return to his teammates. Bob set up on the high ground and on the ramp. As, uh, as Thunderstorm Gaming continues to push the cart, I can imagine the same dive they've been running for this the last few fights coming out, and here it comes as uh, Cleanliness dives on the Bob with uh, Ostrich. Perp drop down low, a huge pulse mark going up from Stephen, uh, from uh, Tarek, finds Bob and Perp. Blue, however, taking down Optic in the backline, Agency versus the Diva in the backline as, uh, as the peel from Winston and Tracer comes in, d Blue and killing it. But Stephanie dies on the Alyssa, and Blue is finished off as well. Breadsticks managed to escape this fight, or escape death. However, uh, it won't stop Thunderstorm Gaming from advancing to nearly the checkpoint. I, Terex picked off by perp that maybe they managed they need to recontest, however I don't think they can recontest the time, as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming ends up having point B. 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock for uh, Thunderstorm Gaming to try and finish out, try and close out uh, Numbani point C. Alternates on both sides looking very good. However, uh, Thunderstorm Gaming seems to be etching it out once again. Approaching the corner, Perp finds Terex once more as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming is uh, thrown about by Blue's ultimate self destruct. Perp and Bob taking down Mofi and Agency is uh, gonna force Thunderstorm Gaming to retreat. Bob looks for a uh, dagger pick on Optic and he gets it. Breadsticks and Blue trying to push, are going for a little bit of a spawn camp, but now back. Unfortunately, we'll be seeing no selfless spawn camps today, my friend. Both sides having nearly every ult except for uh, Primal Rage on both sides and uh, Diva Bomb on the side of Thunderstorm on uh, making place. Hamidol coming out from Breadsticks, but Terex gets a stick onto Bob, who's giving them a numbers advantage. Queen Lin is under Persephone and is as Diva. Nano boosted by uh, by Alec and Bob. Breadstick taken down by Terex. Cleanliness taken down by Persephone. 
The second you're getting a double kill taking down AC for you as well, Austin's about to be D-maxed by a perp and blue. However, the heal's coming in to some gaming are keeping him up, but not very long. See, man, he makes blue as he uh, pops the Dragonblade, finishes his blue off, boss takes down Optic in the backline, as well as the Ostrid. The Dragonblade may be for not as uh, he's taken down as well by uh, Herp. Herrick gets taken on Alex Pond, but uh, it's not going to be enough to take this fight as Clean Queen Linens and uh, Herrick are forced to back off. However, Clean Linens does in the end get picked. Breadstick forced to fall back to the card as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming tries to tries to pick him off, but to no avail. Thunderstorm Gaming taking up position on the high ground as uh, both Bob and Perp try and put a little bit of contest on the Perp's taking up for a flank stun as, uh, as Tarek throws out a pulse bomb, but is, I believe it was stunned out. Bomb from blue takes down Clemlin, uh, Queen Linen. Pardon for pardon your name, uh, Queen Linen. They keep calling you Clemlin. Blue D max by Optic as uh, the rally comes out from Perp. Persephone taken down by Tarek as well. That is some gaming starts to aggress here as they uh, push, push making plays back. Ultimate coming out from Ostras finds a double kill to Alex Bond and Blue as uh, Thunderstorm Gaming is taking this fight by a pretty significant margin. Bob falls with all the clean linen. The recontest is going to be very staggered, especially with Herp dying as late as he did. There's going to be very little hope for uh, making plays to put up a recontest with uh, how staggered they are. However, Persephone tries to pick on a Terrace, maybe just the pick they need to take the fight. Transcend is coming out of Optic, Media Strike coming out of Bob. Media Strike. Uh, finds nobody, but a uh, breadstick does find agency with the uh, cannonball. The most thing the barrage takes the Alex Bomb, but it's killed by uh, Diva. And uh, this fight's going either way, but Clean Linus takes down Bob, but it's immediately answered by protecting an optic back and forth. The fight goes off to the Max, but making plays is coming out on top. Two seconds left on the side of Thunderstorm Gaming as they're pushed back by making plays, and that is going to be it. A very well fought game on both sides, but making plays better team in the end as they take this series four to zero play of the game as far as standings are concerned in the road league the I, this the first game played by a by a master team if I remember correctly and as such that means uh that means Clean Linen, or uh, Making Plays, is on top of the leaderboard with uh, Thunderstorm Gaming sitting on the bottom. But that is going to be it for the stream today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed tuning in. And I we should be here again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we will announce what game will be streamed, but... Uh, if you want to come tune in, be sure to do so. And uh, once again, if you want to uh, apply to join our media team, you're more than welcome to go and send in an application at the link listed at the bottom of the Rose League Constitution. And uh, that's all for me, folks. Uh, Athens Pegasus Sleepy, uh, signing off.